hey 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 welcome to my channel unbiased llc my name is rachel if this is your first time here welcome i appreciate you stopping by and if you are a returning subscriber welcome back i appreciate you for being here period okay so let's get into it okay so So you came here, right, to see what are the seven most essential things you need in your sewing room as a beginner sewer. Well, I'm here to tell you. Okay. So in no specific order, however, I will be putting up pictures just to show you the items that I am speaking about. So the first one would be a sewing machine. <laughs> duh okay i recommend the singer heavy duty sewing machine for beginners why because it does all the things all the things you will need it to do it will do it for you okay it sews straight lines zigzag lines and it also have a few decorative stitches on this sewing machine but the reason why I chose this sewing machine is because, this is because it's manual. I suggest you start out with a manual sewing machine before you go into computerized sewing machines. Just my personal opinion, okay? So the next thing, of course, when you're filming a video, somebody calls. So number two on my list, Number two is the most dreadful thing in the world. However, you will need this as a beginner sewer. A seam ripper. <laughs> yes, the dreadful seam ripper. But it is one of the most essential things you will need in your sewing room. Anytime you make a mistake, guess what? You're going to need a seam ripper. Okay, <laughs> so get you one or several. Yeah, because you're going to need them. And number three on the list, you're going to need a ruler and or measuring tape. You will be using all of those math problems that you did back in high school when you're sewing that's something no one told me about but i'm telling you so now you know okay so get um a plastic quilters ruler or a measuring tape and or a ruler with metal ends because when you're cutting fabric you don't want to cut into the ruler. <laughs> Ask me how I know. <laughs> yeah. So number four on the list would be an iron. Get yourself an iron. Preferably one with steam. Um, and old-fashioned irons are the best. Okay. However, if you only have a regular iron you can use that as well thank me later even though i don't like to iron however it does make your seams and your garments or the products that you make and or sell look very professional so i suggest getting an iron number five on my list would be Fabric scissors. So know the difference. Fabric scissors, you only use them to cut fabric. Okay? If you use that fabric scissors to cut anything else, I promise you, you will not be happy. Don't let anybody touch your fabric scissors. Keep them safe. Thank me later. <laughs> and number six on my list, because I don't want this video to be long, 
And of course, somebody's always calling when you're making a video. So number six on my list would be a self-healing cutting mat. You can use one of these self-healing cutting mats. They come in various sizes and it will help you and save you time later. It also has a ruler on the mat. So it helps you with your cutting measurements. As I stated before, you're going to be needing those math problems that you used back in high school for sewing. No one told me, but I know now. And so for number seven, a thread stand holder. This is the one that I use. You can get these in different styles as well. Some come with two and three and four thread stands. However, I only need one because my sewing machine only holds one thing of thread at a time. Okay, so for my last thing, even though I said all seven, I have a bonus, okay? And the bonus is a needle threader. Because when your eyes get as bad as mine, <laughs> those needle threaders will come in handy. I hope that this video was helpful to anyone starting their sewing journey. If you use any of these items, please leave me a comment below so that we can collab together on these sewing essential items that you need as a beginner sewer. If you decide that you need any of these items that I have presented to you today, <laughs> they will be linked in the description of this video. No. You do not have to pay anything extra to click on the link. This video is not sponsored. I just decided to do it for you, okay? So with that being said, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tips and tricks about sewing.